this guy just brought a literal giant god to destroy one single medical robot. How cool is that? Oh Hello everyone, this is Bulati speaking. This is just a quick video on the new trial for Jingyuan. He also comes with his own banner in this beta, and I want to talk about how he works in combat. And with this trial, I get to have a hands-on with his skills, his traces, and his light cones. Everything in this trial is here to be showcased. And I'm not just gonna show you his gameplay, I'm here to also break down his stats, his detailed information on what his role is and what he does, and we'll also take a look on how good he is. So Jingyuan is a limited 5-star character, his element is lightning, and his path is erudition. It's worth to note that erudition's role here is to deal, you know, a considerable amount of damage to multiple enemies. And you might be wondering why I'm pointing this out. Obviously, a lot of people already know what erudition characters really do, but we'll definitely talk about this later. First off, let's talk about his traces, his skills. So for basic attack, he has a normal 50% scaling. Another unique thing he has is the skill. His skill does 50% scaling, which is odd among other, you know, other erudition characters. But one thing that is different is that he has his Lord Lightning. This is another unit in your team that essentially becomes a follow-up attack coming from Jingyuan. Now this Lightning Lord has its own stats and behavior, which we'll get into right now. So the Lightning Lord has a base speed of 60. I know, I'm bringing the bad news already. 60 base speed is pretty low. That means you'll probably have the Lightning Lord to attack at the last turn. But another thing to note here is the 3 base attack count. So what is a base attack? It's actually a stack that Lightning Lord has, and the more you have, the more damage it will give to multiple enemies. So each base attack procs around 33% of attack to target enemy and 25% to adjacent enemies. And the maximum stat that you can have is 10, meaning that you can deal up to 330% of attack to target enemy and 250% to adjacent, which is a drastic difference. But coming back to the speed I mentioned, now it's 60 base speed, it might sound very bad, but that won't be an issue once I tell you that the slow speed here is compensated with every stack that you increased, and that gives 10 speed. So that means you'll be able to bring the Lightning Lord's turn to the front depending on how good you're managing the skill and the ultimate. This passive, however, is going to reset after the Lightning Lord attacks. So there's another thing to keep in mind that you need to time your skills and ultimates perfectly. The last thing I wanted to mention is the technique. So this is another way to increase his Lightning Lord stack, and that is casting a technique on the enemy before the battle starts. This gives you another 2 stack at the start of the battle, meaning more speed and damage. So that's a pretty good way to start with Jingyuan and his team. Keep in mind that this Lord Lightning stops attacking when Jingyuan is down, and they will also be disabled every time Jingyuan is debuffed with crowd control. But you'll eventually understand what a crowd control debuff is once you play the game yourself. Now, how do we play Jingyuan? Well, he's going to be a very straightforward character because all he does will be inflicting area of effect damage on all enemies, and your only job is to maintain Lightning Lord's attack uptime with skill and ultimate, like I said before. And with this, you'll also need to raise Lord's speed as fast as possible in order to land faster attacks with Jingyuan. Now this playstyle might sound tricky, but I can say that there are several characters that can help Jingyuan do this job efficiently. The first character is the 5-star character, Branya. She boosts attack and crit damage, but most importantly, she brings Jingyuan to the top of the turn order with 36% damage bonus with her skill. So that's a pretty good character to have with Jingyuan. Another suitable partner is Asta. She gives speed to Jingyuan for quickly raising Lord's stats and also boosting their attack. So this is a pretty good 4-star partner to go with Jingyuan. Another notable character to mention is Tingyun. Not only she gives 
uh, attack bonus for Jingyun, but she also gives energy to Jingyun, meaning that he can cast ultimates more since his ultimate is going to be another thing you need to cast quite often. So with these characters in mind, other empty slots in your team, you can leave them for either debuffer, healer, or even another damage dealer to boost the team's output, depending on the enemies you're fighting. Aside from characters though, there's also light cones that can help Jingyuan boost his output. This signature light cone has 110 attack, a 32% crit damage bonus, and 20% skill and ult. It's pretty straightforward, just like the character, but it's a pretty good one. It's a decent boost to stats, and it also has a passive called Somnus Corpus. This Somnus Corpus, when it takes effect, it will boost his follow-up attack, meaning the Lightning Lord's attack, to 48% every proc. And that is pretty good. But do you really need it to make Jingyuan viable? I don't really think so. There's a couple of good erudition light cones, which I'll be showing you right now, that also comes with stats that Jingyuan likes other than skill and ultimate damage bonus or crit damage. Now that we've talked about how Jingyuan works, what he really is, what his partners should be, and what suitable light cones he can use, we can now talk about my first impressions. Overall, he looks like a very highly demanding damage dealer that gives a very high damage output in return, and this is coming from an erudition character. Like I said from the very beginning, an erudition character typically does AoE damage to the entire enemy, but with Jingyuan scaling, it's pretty impressive. His kit looks pretty decent, but his stats are also not far left behind with high attack specs that can help the Lightning Lord as well. I think playing him will make you feel like he really is a very powerful general that wants his team to dedicate everything to him, and that's pretty cool for his DPS kit. Is he a must-have? I'm not really sure, considering that he doesn't really deal with a lot of situations with his Lightning Lord, but I think he still excels at what Erudition is known to do, and that is constantly spreading damage to all enemies at once. Another thing to note here is that Jingwen is one of the few Erudition characters that is Lightning Element. The other Lightning Element with Erudition Path is only Serval. So there's not a lot of competition going on right now in Lightning Erudition teams, and that gives even more reason to have Jingyuan in their team. Now as for the gacha, there isn't enough information to make a clear speculation on when he will be available at release, but I do think his banner won't be too far after Sele, since his appearance in the current beta now is taking place at the new area, Xianzhou Lefu, the place after you've finished Balebox's story. Anyways, that's it what I wanted to talk about with Jingyuan. I think I will probably try to pull for him when his banner arrives, but I'm still not sure if he'll be a must-have considering his um, considering his rank in today's final closed beta. We'll probably see a change in the final release, but that will be for another video. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and see you next time.